Hello people. So I have heard a lot say that the MM equation is so tough. But for me it's the most scoring thing in the enzyme chapter. So let's start with the MM equation right away. The derivation of the equation starts with two basic reactions involved in the formation and breakdown of the ES complex. So we first consider the E to de denote enzyme, the S to denote the substrate and the P to denote the product. The reaction rates are considered as K1 for the formation of the ES complex, K2 for the breakdown of the ES complex into E plus S and K3 for the breakdown of the ES complex into the enzyme and the ultimate end product P. Now, if we merge both the equations, we would get E plus S gives ES and ES gives E plus P, where K1, K2 and K3 are rate constants. Okay, so our main aim is to find the equation to denote the value of V0. And V0 is determined by the breakdown of ES complex to the product. Hence, V0 is equal to the concentration of the ES complex multiplied by rate constant K3, which we consider as equation 1. Now comes the part to pay attention on. From this equation, we do not easily get the value of V0. So, we go forward to a little lengthy step. We introduce ourselves with the term ET, which denotes the total enzyme concentration. The concentration of ET denotes the total enzyme concentration. So, the concentration of ET is equal to the concentration of the total free enzyme and the concentration of the enzyme present in the ES complex. From here, we stake the concentration of E to one side and the ET and ES to the other. So we get E is equal to ET minus ES. With this in mind, the following steps will lead us to the expression for V0 that is easily measured. Applying the formula, the rate of ES formation would be the product of the rate constant K1, the concentration of E and the concentration of S. In the similar way, the rate of ES breakdown would be the sum of the product of the rate constant K2 with the constant concentration of ES complex and the rate constant K3 with the concentration of ES complex. For the steady state of an enzyme, both the equations would have the same value. Hence, K1 would e be equal to ET minus ES, concentrations of in bracket, into concentration of the substrate, is, which would be equal to K2, concentration of ES, plus K3 into concentration of ES. Now, we simplify this equation with a series of algebraic steps. First, the left side is multiplied and the right side is simplified. Hence, we get K1 concentration of ES into concentration of S minus K1 concentration of ES into concentration of S gives K2 plus K3 into concentration of ES. Now, we add the term K3 in concentration of ES into concentration of S to both sides of the equation, getting K1 <coughs> concentration of ET into concentration of S is equals to K1 concentration of S plus K2 plus K3 concentration of ES by taking ES in common on the left side. <laughs> now, We then take the ES on one side and the whole of the equation to the other. And then on the left side, divide the numerator and the denominator with K1. Now 
cutting things off, we are left with a simpler version, which is ES is equal to ET into S divided by S plus K2 plus K3 divided by Q. Now things would seem a lot familiar to you guys. Slowly the term K2 and K3 by K1 is actually defined as the Michaelis and Menten constant. Now, hence replacing the term with KM, we get ES is equal to ET into substrate divided by concentration of substrate plus KM. Now we go back straight to equation 1 which was V0 is equal to K3 into concentration of ES if you guys remember. It can also be written as ES is equal to V0 by K3 reshuffling things up. We replace the term ES with V0 by K3. So now V0 and the K3 goes to the other side so K3 ET into concentration of the substrate divided by concentration of the substrate plus K. Now V0 was equal to concentration of ES into K3. So if the total concentration of the enzyme is considered the term ET into K3 <coughs> should be equal to V max or the maximum velocity of the enzyme. Hence we get V0 is equal to V max into concentration of the substrate divided by Km plus concentration of the substrate which is the michaelis menten equation or the MM equation we are eager to find. <laughs>